What I have for you guys here is a video that is dynamic with various, various additions to the channel description. What is this you ask? Well, this is called YouTube Mercury and it's a service by Stream Elements. And I'm going to show you how to set this up right now. Hi everybody, it's the Retro Yuki once again, giving you guys a tutorial for YouTube Mercury, a service by Stream Elements that will allow you to make your dynamic videos like this one. If you guys are brand new, I do I do Discord bot tutorials, I also do Discord tutorials, I do gameplay of stuff and other cool stuff that you might be enjoying. So let's take a look at what we have for today. To get to Stream Elements, streamelements.com, and to get to Mercury, you need to get to this particular banner. It says, bring your YouTube videos to life. Press get started to get started. Log into your YouTube and you'll be okay. When you first start, you're going to get to this screen showing you your, your little dashboard. This is a dashboard from YouTube. I want to draw your attention to this side on the left. You're going to see my videos, my templates, my shout out videos, tipping settings, and connections. The most important link right now is my videos. We'll talk about the others in a moment. What I have for you here is the videos on my channel right now that have been uploaded either via live stream or via regular upload. So I want to also draw your attention to a button. And that button is called Dynamic Widgets. I want you to pay attention though. Look for a video that you want to use for to check out. I want to give you an example using behind the chat, Shadow and Tails. Now this video was made a live stream for those of you who are not new or new. I do VR chat material like today, where we do behind the scenes and we do an episode for you guys later today. And we I do highlight videos. And those highlight videos become the subject of this new series called Behind the Chat, where I talk about why I select those particular highlights. We're going to go to edit though. I want to show you guys how this works. So, on the video here, we have this. On the left side, we have the video description as shown on that video. But I want you to draw your attention to here. As you guys can see, my socials has been populated. Has been populated with a few new additions besides my own description. You may have noticed these blue things here. These are called widgets, and widgets are shown on the right side of your screen. And these widgets allow you to make your video dynamic. And we're going to talk about each one in just a moment. Now obviously this is not organized correctly. And I apologize for that, but when the rebranding of the channel starts, when I start rebranding for the fall season, it's going to be a lot different. Trust me. You're going to have more, more way to play. More way to um, describe and stuff. So as you guys can see here, we have the widgets. And each widget plays a certain role. So all you have to do to make a widget, to put the widget in is drag and drop. That's it. That's all you need. So let's organize this again so that we can um, start with our dynamic video. I'll talk about polls in just a moment as well. So let's talk about where should our widgets be. So let's put a go section for you guys. We're going to put goals for channel. Remember, don't do what I'm doing here. Don't use the lines. That's nasty. Use emojis or use, or use something. I'm only doing this for the sake of the example. But, what are the goals for a channel? You want a subscriber goal, right? 
all you have to do drag this channel goal subscriber goal into the video here there we go and we're going to have a number the number can be set by you you set the number based on what you want right now I have 600 subscribers now it says 598 the only reason why it's saying 598 has not updated but I do have 600 at this point so we're going for 625 so you put 625 in this box and you're going to go another another number another button this button is called apply as channel go keep in mind if you press that button anytime you have this particular widget you're going to you're going to change the numbers on those videos as well so we're going we're going to apply this as a channel goal anyway since that's our new channel goal and you only need to update it once or anytime you make a new goal okay now this is badly this is badly organized so what I'm going to do is press enter subscriber goal is colon and then press then drag and drop here and then we can put recent sub colon and then we can do a spotlight so as you guys can see on the right we have a spotlight newest subscriber is ninja pog so we drag and drop into this line and you're gonna see this pop up in this particular description box to save it press save changes or and if you're new apply the channel let's go back to the video though so that we can continue press edit if you want to go back now goals for the channel also includes tipping actually excuse me patreon so if you have a patreon like i'm going to start making soon by the way you can put a patreon supporters goal and whoever is the newest patreon member as well just so like the same thing we did our subscriber goal now i want to go do the fun stuff the socials you have four links that you can play with you have the subscriber link the tipping week link the patreon link and the discord link keep in mind you must connect your discord and your patreon so you use those links okay and here's the cool part you can actually spotlight a member so remember how i said spotlights newest discord member and newest patreon member this is cool okay now I have a Discord. Now the only reason why I'm using it like full, like a full link there is because I haven't connected my Discord yet to um this one. We're still in the process of getting it ready for showcase, so that's why I'm not putting it up there yet. Okay, for the for this particular example, the links here it's just not dynamic, right? Now here's the fun part. The poll. You can put polls in your channel description. Here's how to do it. Drag and drop your poll into a section you want to put your poll in. I highly recommend at the top. I'm only putting this at the bottom as a as an example. Don't do this. I'm only doing this as an example so that you guys understand how this works. The, the question can be anything related to your streaming or your videos or your content, for example. Let's say we are going to do a reaction video. By the way, well, I, have, I have one coming up. I have two coming up. There's a poll I'm going to do, I'm doing on my Twitter. And speaking of that, I should give you guys the poll question. What do you want Francis the Fox, and my character by the way, to react to first, second. I actually have one planned for the first one, and that's a um, reaction video to one of my streamer friends, Jimmy Dukes Gaming. 
let's say we're gonna make a poll here a Shadina video of course my simp I'm simping a Kobe Bryant video by the way you can only put up to 28 letters or numbers a let's see let's go to soccer video remember this is an example or a basketball I already have basketball a handball tutorial video like the sport of handball so to get this poll in it's already in there and it's shown right here so as you guys can see the poll is up save changes let me see what we have here let me see if it actually edit okay there it is so we have the poll up now how do we see if it's correct well we can preview here as well show more and as you guys can see that is how it's going to look on that video how do you vote you might ask well good good question let's go back to my channel here this is for behind the chat I'm going to reload this page since we changed it pay attention to the description okay so here we go I think I just got a new comment too that, I think that's the first comment for this video but as you guys can see we have our widgets so this this part of the description is from the regular edition of the video here is the description here's the dynamic part goals for the channel we have we have the progress bar and the recent sub is ninja pog the name is going to be there now i might change this to where i'm going to put it on a new line but for the sake of this example we're going to keep it there on the bottom here you see this link called poll we have what do you want francis the fox to react to second how do you vote the vote press the link on the choice you want to vote for keep in mind reminder you can only vote once you can only vote once in a video that's it there's no there's no going back so make very careful of this particular section you only get one vote that's it if the if the video if the video guy the creator allows you to change your vote make sure you ask him or her directly otherwise they're not going to let you change your vote but make sure you only vote once so let's say we're going to do a Obi Brian video press the second link here now keep in mind this poll is an example only I already have one on Twitter that that's the one that counts right now so press this button if you want to if you want Francis the Fox to go react to Kobe Bryant you're going to get to this particular page which is going to be showing in a moment and as you guys can see your vote for a Kobe Bryant video has been registered that's it that's your vote so right now the only one that's winning is Kobe Bryant that's it but remember this is an example so it doesn't count all right just to showcase the new feature here all right now what can you use this for well I have an idea check this out let's say that you have an idea for a next video add the poll after you finish the video and edit stuff add the dynamic poll from mercury into that video share it again and then have the, the members vote 
you could also do this for live streams as well. If they would let you do a live stream. Let's see. Let's go back here to dashboard and my videos. Let's see if they give you live stream as well. We're going to go filter by playlist. And we're going to try. I have a lot of playlists though, so keep that in mind. I tried other stuff. Some of them work, some of them don't work. Uh, let's see here. Let's try the Retro Yuki Gaming here. There we go. The live streams will work, but, uh, excuse me, but they have to be like uploaded right away. So you cannot have like one that's in the, in the future. So the one in the future is going to be the one with the gauntlet or the VR chat for today. Now I want to focus on one very cool feature before we leave you guys with the tutorial today. By the way, on that video, the one with the behind the chat, we, we refresh. Remember how I said to a dynamic video. Um, show more. And you guys can see. 100% vote on Kobe Bryant. Because we voted for that. Okay. So keep in mind that we have to refresh the, the, the thing. For it to work and update for you. Other than that, it updates for you when you vote. Okay, it's a very cool thing. Now, I want you to remember, I want to give you some tips and tricks. How do you, how you want to do this. First of all, I would like for you, if you have a poll in mind, put it at the top, near the top. At least second. So main description, then your goals, then your poll, then your social, and then any other links that you need to put in there, like your cash app, your donation link, whatever. Put those in socials though, so it's easier, okay? But other than that, put your poll on the top. One more feature to give you guys before we call it. The feature is called shout out videos let's have a look shout out videos allow you to shout out your subscribers or discord members or patreon members etc in your video but i highly recommend an edited video so check this out I'm going to give you an example, but I want you to show you case how to generate one. So click on generate new shout out under my shout out videos. What you're going to have here is the, the dashboard for this particular section. And a preview of that here. I'm going to show you an example I have for you guys in just a moment. I want to show you how to set it up. Feel free to change the color at any time, but you only get one shot. Once you press the generate web M file and you made a mistake, you have to do another one. Okay? Another shout out video. So do keep that in mind. You have two options for the layout. You have the one on the bottom or the one on the left side of the screen. It's going to look like this. I have a, there's a few that, do, that, that, that does this, this way. And there's some that do this way. So, you have a choice. Subscribers, members, Patreons, or Discord member. Here's the cool part. You make multiple of these for one video, you can shout out everybody. But right now, we're going to focus on subscribers since I did not connect my other stuff. 
people who joined and then the timeline. You have a few options. Since the last video, in the past week or in the past month, you may have noticed select dates are coming soon. I prefer in the, la in the past month. Now that is just for me, my preference. It's up to you of where you want your, um, your stuff. Because if I say in the past week, there's four. And in the past month, there is 14. And in the last video, there is zero. So I'm going to say past month. Okay. Your message is going to be like saying, thank you for subbing or whatever. Thanks for subscribing and so on. I want you to look at the scroll speed as well. We're going to go to slow so that everybody can get it. Then we have num max number of subs. This is going to showcase max number of subs based on this number. So for example, even if you put 50, but if your timeline shows that you only got 14, only 14 of 50 will get in play and be part of this particular section here. And you're going to see the video size. Now the video size and the video length also matter because of how long it is. 20 seconds, that's the same amount of time for a for a going out of YouTube um, outro, okay? So that's very cool. Now, we have two options. We can do it like this, or we can do it like this. I actually recommend this way. So we can change the colors to our liking. Unfortunately, I do not think you can change the color like custom color, but that's okay. And then when you are done, press generate.webm file. So what this does is generate the file for you to download, create and download. And it's going to give you a link for download once it's done. Okay, once it's done, you'd be good to go. I want to show you guys an example. So pay attention to the bottom of your screen here. That's a little example of how it's going to look like. All right. Now keep in mind, because it is OBS Studio, I made it a loop. It's not going to be on a loop when you put it in your editor for video. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like when you put it in your video and you can move it based on your liking. All right. So that's how that feature works out. Okay. So you can put that at any time in your video, in your edit, in your edits. I prefer beginning or end. So you can say thank you properly. All right. So that is Mercury, everybody, in terms of the main features. For tipping settings, it's more of PayPal. Make sure you have PayPal ready to go. You can change your your um your personalized personalized tipping message, and you can tell thank you to the user. And that is how the tipping page looks. So when you click the tipping link, you're going to get to this particular page. Like this. It shows like this. And that personalized message is here as well. You can put your name. If you, do, if you want to remain anonymous, you can. Just leave that blank and pay with PayPal. PayPal is the only service right now that is available. You're going to have to wait until another time before they update more. But that is what you can expect. Connections, connect to your Patreon, and your Discord. Now, you may have noticed there's more. 
coming along the way. So there's Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. A lot of people want Twitch on the Mercury, and it makes sense. It actually makes sense. Okay, and that's your in-depth tutorial on how Mercury works. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is an in-depth look at Mercury, a service by Stream Elements, provided for you to make your YouTube videos more dynamic. So in summary, you can put your widgets there, you can put your latest subscriber there and all that cool stuff. And you can connect your Patreon and Discord. Okay, so enjoy. We'll see you guys at 5 for our VR chat session.